Welcome back at 614 on this Monday. It's the first day of school for some Central Georgians. And in Macon Bibb, one elementary school is so excited to get the year started, they decided to walk through the halls for a grand tour a week before classes even begin. Now, our morning reporter, Freeha Bra, is live from Springdale Elementary this morning, where there's been some construction happening there for the past couple years. What's it looking like now, Freeha? Well, if you actually remember, one of our final School of the Week features last year was Springdale right before they closed the campus down for a walkthrough for alumni. That's, that's so that the construction team could finish this project during the summer. Now, as you can see, it's finally done. On Friday, we actually got to participate in a grand tour that the school staff and school board members were a part of. Here's a sneak peek at what the students get to look forward to next week. You can design and create and build the most wonderful places in the world, but it takes people to make the dream a reality. At Springdale Elementary, everyone's excited for the first day of school. I think the excitement on the children's faces that first day when they walk in and see it all brand new, um, I think that's going to be the thing I'm looking forward to the most. Media specialist Megan Giles told us in May that she's wanted to always teach at Springdale since she was a student in the 90s. This year, she's getting some upgrades in her library, like better storage, better tech, and... There's this stage area where students can sit and listen and have a story told or perhaps do some mini performances. I just see so much life coming out of that one corner of the building. That's that's kind of cool to me. Superintendent Dan Sim says he loved getting to see the special library feature because he's a big fan of storytelling. In addition to the renovated classrooms, larger cafeteria and kitchen, and the natural lighting throughout the school. The windows are really big and there are a lot of them and I think it'll really uplift just the spirits of everyone in the building. It's, you know, natural light is really healthy for you, so I'm really excited about that. Amoria Edwards graduated from Mercer in May, and next week is her first day of school as a teacher. I really, really loved school growing up, and I just wanted to reiterate that when I was an adult. Always knew I wanted to be a teacher. For some of the people on the school's grand tour, like Joma Valoria, getting to see this new building is extra special because she's a former student. What made me want to come to the opening was that the building is going to be very new and I think that they're going to have a lot of opportunities for the new kids and for, of course, the old kids from the new building to the old building. Another former Springdale Elementary student, Jeff Couch, was the head architect of the project. When he passed away, Jamison Barger took over to finish the job. We had a lot to improve on and I think just having a new space for these kids and these families to live in, I think that's testament enough for by itself. The people here made it a reality. Welcome to Springdale. Now, the facelift, as you can see at this school, is just fantastic. You have to check it out for yourself. Now, just a reminder, the first day of school in Macon Bibb is next week, August 5th. Live in Macon, Fari Habra, 13 WMAZ News. Back to you.